Hey, Bondi, thank you so much for joining us. We'll start with the first question with Josh Gessman. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? Good, thanks, Josh. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, talk about this defense a little bit. You guys, uh, through the first two games, haven't allowed a goal. Um, I believe that the uh, the two shutouts is about half as the, the number of shutouts possibly that the Galaxy had last year, or right around that number. Um, what what have you noticed? What has been the biggest change? I think defending as a team, um, right from the front players all the way through. Um, we've been a lot more compact, a lot more organised. Um, we've known when to when to step out and press, and when just to keep our shape. And then once we're in that shape, our defending has been a lot better. Um, I feel like the back four as a four just on their own have kind of covered a lot more ground laterally and uh, up and down. So, yeah, I think we've been in a good place. We're not getting carried away um, just yet. We obviously had two tough games, one against the champions and one against, uh, you know, it was really against a crowd of 75,000 people and, and a new team. So, uh, yeah, we've it's a solid start, um, but now it's another big test away at, um, away at Seattle on Saturday for sure. Last season, it certainly felt at times that you were being bombarded with shots as well. Um, there, there seems to have been, at least in two games, and, and like you said, don't get carried away, but at least in two games, it seems like that has that has slowed down a little bit. Do you feel like as a goalkeeper, in order to be your best, that you need to sort of minimize the amount of times you have to go uh, 100% on a save? Yeah, it's interesting. I, uh, I got asked a lot of questions last year as the goalkeeper and one of the defensive players, you know, why, you know, why aren't we keeping clean sheets? But then I was a lot more busier and making loads of saves and playing really well. But then we were conceding one or two goals in the game and, um, and now we're keeping clean sheets and I'm having almost nothing to do. So that kind of goes to show how important it is to defend as a team. Um, and then there will, there has been occasions where I have been called on, and then I just have to make sure that I'm there to to do the best I can and and try and preserve that clean sheet. Uh, if I remember correctly, I know you guys are headed up to Seattle. Uh, I, I think that's your mom's team, or at least was your mom's team. Was she a, a Sounders follower? So is uh, is she going to be rooting against you uh, come this weekend? No, never, never. She won't. But um, yeah, that was her team when she was younger. So she was a, a huge soccer fan um, before she even met my dad, an English guy. Um, and then he introduced her to Chelsea back in England. And But she's always followed them. And yeah, obviously she's never going to root against me. So, But it's one that we always look forward to because I still have family up there. So yeah, it'll be good. Very good. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. We'll go with Damien Calhoun with the LA Daily News. Hey, Jonathan, how you doing? Hi, man. How are you? Good. Um, just want to get your thoughts on the atmosphere um, last Saturday. Um, just what, what was it like being on, down on the field with you know, what, what, probably 73 of the 75,000 probably streaming against, streaming against you there? Yeah, it was incredible. It was um, great energy in the stadium. Looked amazing. Um, the, the, the fans were, you know, they were frantic, especially for the first kind of half an hour and I think we did a really good job of actually kind of slowing that down and killing their their energy and their momentum um, or any momentum they try to build and um, yeah it was it's always difficult the first 10-15 minutes to kind of settle into the game and it's, you know we can't hear each other no one can communicate really and um, makes it very difficult from that point of view but uh, yeah it was a great experience for for all of us um, and an MLS attendance record which is obviously incredible. Was that the, the largest crowd you've been in front of, or? It is by about ten thousand. Yeah, okay. it is, and um, that just goes to show how uh, how much the league is growing. You know, um, that's about the attendance of the the largest um, stadium in the Premier League, Old Trafford, seventy five, seventy six thousand. So, um, yeah, if they can match that, it'd be massively impressive. And you guys are second game, second consecutive game on turf. Um, but Greg said, you, you know, you, you've had a whole week to prepare for it. What's your process like? You play on Saturday. How do you sort of come down off, you know, sort of build yourself back up for another game on turf there? Like early part of the week, you do anything different that you would do if the game was on grass at all or what? We actually don't. We actually trained the day before the game in Charlotte um, okay. on, on the turf, which was helpful. I actually like turf. Um, I don't mind it. But I know that the players, I'm not the one that's running, you know, like, 
seven, eight, nine, ten k a game, whatever they run. So I know it takes a toll on the um, on the guys um, on their bodies. So yeah, it's something that you probably don't want to train on turf more than what you need to. So they've been training on grass like they used to all week, and then you just kind of do your best on on turf on the weekend. Um, but yeah, it's something that everyone's kind of dealt with before, or most of the guys have dealt with before, so everyone knows what to expect. Thank you. We'll go Robert Jalen. Hey, good afternoon, Jonathan. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Um, so Raheem Edwards uh, just joined in the offseason, and uh, after two games, he has two game-winning assists, and he's defended quite well. Uh, what's impressed you most about him so far? Oh, a lot of things. Um, he brings us a lot as a team. First of all, he's experienced. Um, he's clearly one of the senior guys. He's very popular in the uh, in the locker room. And then on the field, he's very aggressive, very athletic, gives us a lot going forward. He's a threat that teams have to worry about. And then his recovery um, defending is, um, is amazing. You know, he gets back in with so much speed, so much power, just plays his whole game with a lot of aggression, you know, and um, he's got the experience to go with that. I think he's been used to playing a lot at, um, at wing back, I think, at LAFC. So um, it's been interesting, everyone speaking about uh, how we defend as a back four and him kind of learning that role at left back. And I think he's done an amazing job. And the fact that he's got two assists going forward doesn't really surprise me because, he, you know, he, he does want to go forward and create chances, score goals. He actually had a chance... Um, or nearly had a chance uh, in the first half against New York City as well, where he was four or five yards out. So he's definitely been an amazing addition to uh, to the squad. Speaking of that back four, um, I noticed that Greg hasn't changed the back four in the past two games. Do you think that's uh, part of the reason that you guys have been consistent? And not only that, can you see that back four going forward, uh, maybe establishing that back four? Yeah, I think we've got, a, generally speaking, a strong defensive unit. You know, we have four centre-backs, three senior guys, and um, and one one younger in Jalen. And obviously Eric actually signed today as well, so there's a fifth there. And I think that the back four have done a great job in the first two games of the season. Generally speaking, things happen. Suspensions happen, injuries happen. You may, maybe we you don't keep clean sheets for every single game during the, the rest of the season. And... Um, we're going to need everyone. So it's really good that we're settled and everyone's um, confident and we're, we're keeping that same back four at the moment. Um, which is, yeah, it's good for everyone. It's good for the team, good for the club. So, um, you know, hopefully we can just keep keep on keeping clean sheets and we won't have to worry about making too many changes. Thanks, Jonathan. We have one last one with Chris Maldonado. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Bondi, hope you're doing well. Thank you. It's, granted, it's very early in the season, but going into this game in Seattle, you are one of only five MLS goalkeepers who have remained, who have kept the clean sheet, haven't been scored on once. I want to know how that makes you feel. Does that add uh, pressure? Does that make you more competitive? How exactly does that make you feel knowing that you're one of only five among some very elite MLS goalkeepers? Uh, I haven't really spent much time thinking about that, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's it's obviously nice. It's nice to be part of that group of teams, but it's only been two games. You know, we've we kept two clean sheets in two games, which is great. But we are literally two games into the season. There's so so much for us to work on, and um, I think building. You know, whether we we keep clean sheets for the next, let's say, eight games. And let's say we keep three, four clean sheets or we only concede like one goal in a few of the games or something and we establish ourselves as a strong defensive team, then you, that's when you start to really build pride and you know you're going into the next game and the team that you're playing against know that you're defensively solid and you start to establish that um, that thought in, in both our minds and the opposition's minds. So if we can get to that point and build some some kind of momentum and establish ourselves as defensively a solid team moving forward throughout the whole season, then uh, we'll definitely be in a good spot to um, to go far in the playoffs. Thank you. 